Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet this beautiful, about 12 inch tall, tree topper angel. I am going to crochet using this cotton thread size 10 and uh, my hook that is almost two millimeters. We'll start working here uh, at the top of the head and without cutting thread, we'll continue working until we reach the bottom of the skirt. And then separately, we'll make the wings and the halo. We'll start our work with a magic loop, which we'll make like this. And in the magic loop, we'll make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's close this loop and make a slip stitch in the first of those single crochets. six now in each of those six we'll be making two two single crochets in the first one two more now i have four six stitches in this round eight ten and 12. Now I'm going to start using this end of thread as a marker, making a little loop at the back. And I will start making increases this way. One stitch in stitch, two in the next one. One, two in the next one. Instead of two stitches, single crochets, we're making three. One and two. One and two. There will be 18 single crochets in this round. One and two. one and two now i'll reposition my marker and uh, we'll change the pattern a little we'll be making two single crochets one in one and uh, two in the next one one single crochet one and two in the following one instead of every three single crochets we are making four one one two in the following stitch one one now two There will be 24 stitches in this round. One, one, two, one, one, and two. I have reached my marker. I will reposition it. And this time we'll be making increases this way one single crochet one one and two in the next one three times one single crochet two three stitch and stitch and now two in the next one instead of four we are now making five single crochets one 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 two one 
one, one, two. At the end of the round, you'll have 30 single crochets. One, 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 two. And uh, one, 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 and two. And we'll reposition the marker once again. And this time we are making one, two, three, four single crochets and two in the next stitch. One, two, three, four and two in the next instead of five we are making six stitches one two three four and two one two three four and two, one, two, three, four, and two in one, and the last time, four stitches, and two in the last one. We have made a round of 36 single crochets and so far we have made six rounds. Now we'll need to make five more rounds and in those rounds there won't be any changes. They will be rounds of 36 single crochets. Make them please and then I'll show how to continue. I have made those five rounds and all together I have 11 rounds now and I can start decreases mirroring what we did before. So at first we'll make one, two, three, four single crochet stitches and then two together like this four single standing single crochets and two together instead of six we are now making five stitches one two three four two together one two three four, two, together. In this round, we are going to have 30 stitches. Four, two, together. And the last time, one, two, three, four, and two, together. In the next round, we'll be making three stitches, one, two, three, and then two together, one, two, three, two together. Instead of five, we are now making four, one, two, three, two, together, one, two, three, two, together, and this way we'll have 24 stitches in this round, one, two, three, two, 
together and uh, one two three two together in the next round we are making one two stitches and two together one two two together instead of four we are now making three one two two together one two two together and we'll have 18 stitches left in this round one two two together and one two two together and one more round one single crochet two together one two together instead of three we are making two now one two together one two together and we'll have 12 stitches left one two together and uh, one two together uh, now we need to stop and uh, first of all put this thread inside the head and uh, stuff the head with something cotton or fiber fill i use fiber fill and a straw to help me work like this when the head is filled we need to make one more round round of six single crochets we'll be making two together all the way around one two try not to catch that fiber fill three four five and six six single crochets and uh, the head is ready now we are going to switch from making single crochets to double crochets and for the neck and shoulders we are going to make two rounds of double crochets first a round of 12 and then a round of 24 double crochet stitches every round where we make double crochets will start with chain three instead of the first double crochet and uh, now we'll need to make another double crochet in the same space now in the next stitch we'll make two double crochets also and the two in the next one I've made the six so far and the two in every single crochet of the previous round so I have eight now two more ten and two more twelve now every round that starts with chain three will end with a slip stitch in the third of those three chains 
a slip stitch like this. To start the next round, we'll make chain three again, and once again, another double crochet in the same place. And now two double crochets in each double crochet of the previous round. So I've made four so far, two more, six, two in the next stitch, eight, and continue making double crochets until you make 24 and a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. We are now going to divide our work in four parts. We'll be making the front and the back of the angel using 10 double crochets on each side. And between them, we'll start making sleeves uh, and we'll start making them using four double crochets separated by chain three. Uh, because now we have only 24 double crochets, we need to add four stitches uh, to be able to make this pattern. So we'll start with chain three instead of the first double crochet, and we'll make another double crochet in the same place. And then six double crochets, one in one, two, three, four, five, six, and in the next one, we'll make two double crochets, one, two. So on eight stitches, we made 10 double crochets. Now chain three, and a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, a double crochet in the next one. Chain three, a double crochet. Chain three, a double crochet. And chain three. So we have made four double crochets for the sleeve, and now we'll repeat the same for the back. Well, actually, it's going to be front. This is the back. So we'll make two double crochets in one, then six double crochets without any increases. Two, three, Four, five, six, and uh, two in the next stitch. Once again, instead of eight, we made ten double crochets and chain three, a double crochet, chain three. A double crochet, chain three, a double crochet, chain three, the last double crochet, and the chain three, and a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. Now, in each of five chain three spaces, we'll be making a group of two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets. We'll start with 10 double crochets. The first one is chain three. And now I have made three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Now chain three, and uh, in this chain three space, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. Now, without any chains, we are working in the next chain three space, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, and the same here, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets continue this pattern please make two more groups like this chain three and repeat it all on the other side in the next round we'll continue making the same groups but they will be chain three between those groups and also chain five uh, between the sleeve and the body. We'll start with uh, 10 double crochets again. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now chain five instead of chain three, and in this shell we'll make two double crochets, chain three and uh, two double crochets. Now chain three between those groups and in the next shell, we are making two double crochets, chain three and uh, two double crochets chain three and so on continue working this pattern please in the last round of the sleeves we'll be making picots between those groups of two and two double crochets and here we'll be making chain three a single crochet and chain three So one more time, the last time we are making 10 double crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Now chain three, a single crochet in this chain five, chain three, and in chain three, we are making two double crochets, chain five, four, five, a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook chain two and uh, two double crochets chain three a single crochet in chain three chain three and in next chain three space we are making two double crochets 
chain five. For a pico, a slip stitch in the middle chain of those five, chain two, and uh, two double crochets. Chain three, a single crochet, chain three, and uh, work this round on your own, please. Finish with a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. Now we are going to make a waist. It's going to be a round of 20 single crochet stitches, 10 on this side and 10 on the back. Instead of the first single crochet, we'll make chain one and then nine more single crochet stitches. So now I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll skip the sleeve and we'll make 10 more single crochets on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip the sleeve and make a slip stitch in the, the first beginning chain that replaced the first single crochet. Now the skirt. The skirt consists of three different parts. At first we'll make six rounds of this honeycomb pattern. In the first two rounds of this pattern, we'll be making little arches of chain three, separated by single crochets. The first single crochet is chain one, now chain three, so we'll start with chain four. And we'll be making single crochet stitches in every single crochet of the previous round. Chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. So uh, all together in each round we'll have 20 little arches. Make those arches please, um, well actually make 19 of them and I'll show how to make the last one. So I have made 19 little arches, but now instead of chain three, I'll make chain one and a half double crochet in the first chain that we used instead of the first single crochet. Okay, so this is half double crochet. Now, chain four, this is chain one and chain three. A single crochet in the first arch, chain three, a single crochet in the next arch, chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and so on. Continue working this round, please. This is an easy pattern. The only thing is not to miss the beginning of the round. So here I would use a marker or any pin will work. In the next two rounds, instead of chain three, we'll be making chain four. So we'll start with chain five. We need this extra chain instead of a single crochet and a single crochet 
chain four, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, and so on. At the end of this round and at the end of the next round, instead of the last chain four, make chain one and a double crochet, not half a double, a double crochet in this first beginning chain. Make these two rounds, please. I am now at the end of round four, and instead of the last arch, I am making chain one and a double crochet in the first chain four rounds in the next two rounds we are going to make chain five so we'll start with chain one plus chain five and then as usual a single crochet chain five a single crochet chain five a single crochet and so on at the end of this round and at the end of next round make chain two not one and then a double crochet in this first beginning chain and now i am at the end of round six i am making chain two a double crochet in the first beginning chain and this part of the skirt is finished in the next eight rounds we'll be making 10 shells and each round a shell consists of two double crochets chain two and two double crochets the only difference between these rounds is going to be the number of chains between those shells We'll start with the first shell, a double crochet, the first double crochet is chain three, another double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets. This is a shell, chain one, now we'll skip chain five and in the next chain five space, We'll make two double crochets, chain two, and uh, two double crochets, chain one, skip chain five, and in the next chain five, make a shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets chain one continue working like this make seven more shells and a slip stitch in the third beginning chain at the end of the round i have finished this round and uh, all the following rounds will start with two slip stitches we'll make a slip stitch in second double crochet and a slip stitch in chain two space now we'll make the shell in this first shell chain one a shell in the shell once again two double crochets chain two and two double crochets chain one another shell chain one and uh, so on finish this round please and then make six more rounds like this 
In rounds three and four, they will be chain two between the shells. In rounds five and six, they will be chain three. And in rounds seven and eight of this part of the skirt, they will be chain four between the shells. Each round will start with two slip stitches and will end with a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. And then I will show how to continue. Here I have finished these eight rounds, two rounds with chain one, two with chain two, chain three and chain four between the shells. And now I can start the next part of the skirt. Now we are going to start this uh, pineapple design they will be five small pineapples with the base of uh, seven double crochets and here between the pineapples for two more rounds we'll continue making shells so once again we'll start with two slip stitches and now seven double crochets one two three four five six seven now chain three another shell in the shell two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain three seven double crochets in the next shell this is three four, five, six, seven, chain three, and another shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain three and continue this round please now in each of the seven double crochets we'll be making single crochets with chain three between them and another shell here between the pineapples the first single crochet is chain one and now chain three so we'll always start with chain four now a single crochet in a double crochet chain three a single 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 crochet so we have made seven single crochets and six little arches now chain three and a shell two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain three and single crochets in each double crochet
chin in and then at a shell. Chin three. Continue breaking this round, please. The pineapple is going to get more narrow with every round, and in every round we'll be making one less single crochet and one less arch. But between the pineapples, we'll start adding groups of two double crochets. If in the shell we have two groups of two double crochets, in the next round we'll be making three. At the end of the previous round, I made chain three and a slip stitch in this first beginning chain. Now I'll need to make two slip stitches to get to the middle of this little arch. And we are going to do it at the beginning of every round. Two slip stitches to get here to the middle. Now chain one instead of the first single crochet and then this chain one at the end of the round we'll make a slip stitch and now chain three a single crochet in chain three chain three a single crochet chain three and a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain three a single crochet so in this round we made six single crochets and five little arches chain three we'll be always making chain three between pineapples and this uh, design between them so in this chain two in the shell we are making two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and two double crochets chain three and the first single crochet in the first arch and so on finish this round on your own please In the next round, we'll continue the pineapple with five single crochets. And here between the pineapples, we'll be making two shells, four groups of two double crochets. Once again, we'll start with two slip stitches to get to the middle of this little arch and uh, chain four. A single crochet chain three, a single crochet chain three, a single crochet chain three, and a single crochet, five single crochets, four arches. Chain three. In the first chain two space, we'll be making a shell of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and another shell in the next chain two space, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain three, and the first single crochet in the first arch and continue working this way please in uh, the um, fifth round of the pineapple we'll be making four single crochets three little arches and here between in each of the shells we'll be making three groups of two double crochets 
So after two slip stitches, we'll make chain one in, instead of the first single crochet and uh, chain three and another single crochet, chain three, another single crochet, chain three, and the last single crochet. Now chain three, and uh, in the first chain two, we'll make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. chain two and uh, two more double crochets in the same space chain two we'll skip this chain two and in the next shell we'll make three groups of two double crochets one chain two the second one chain two and the last one chain three and the first single crochet of the next pineapple continue this pattern please now we'll start making round six of the pineapple where there will be just two arches left and here between the pineapples we'll be making four shells let's make two slip stitches chain one and chain three a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet, chain three, and now we are making a shell in the first chain two space. Chain two, and the same in the next chain two space we'll skip the next chain two we'll make chain two and continue with shells two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and in the next chain two we are doing the same chain three and the first of the three single crochets finish this round on your own please Now in the pineapple part, we'll have just two single crochets with one arch between them left. And in this part that is getting wider and wider, we'll be making 12 groups of two double crochets. So after two slip stitches, We'll make chain one and chain three and a single crochet in the next arch. Chain three. In the first shell, we are making two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two and uh, two double crochets chain two we'll skip chain two and we'll do the same 
two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. chain two we'll skip the next chain two and uh, three groups of two double crochets chain two skip chain two and repeat one group of two double crochets chain two another group of two chain two and the last one chain three and the first of the two single crochets. Finish this round, please. And now the last round of the skirt, where we'll be making the same shells, two and two double crochets, but between them, there will be picots, similar to what we did on the sleeves. the pineapples are almost finished so in this round we'll be making two slip stitches first and then a single crochet and we'll be making one single crochet in each pineapple now we'll be making chain three and in this first chain two we'll make two double crochets chain five a slip stitch in the third chain chain two two double crochets in the next chain two space same thing two double crochets chain five and a slip stitch in the middle of those chain five chain two and uh, two double crochets skip chain two work in the next chain two two double crochets chain five a slip stitch chain two two double crochets in the next chain two space two double crochets a pico chain two Two double crochets. We've made four so far of those groups. We'll skip chain two and make four more here. Two double crochets, a picker. Two double crochets. And in the next chain two space, the same. Skip next chain two. Two double crochets, a pick two 
two double crochets. And uh, the last one of these eight of this big group. and uh, two double crochets now chain three a single crochet in chain three chain three and now continue with double crochets in the next group of eight um, chain two spaces. Now we'll start making the wings. We'll start here and we'll make four rows for the base. Then we'll divide our work. We'll make two wings separately and then two rounds of the border. We'll start with chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a slip stitch in the first chain to make a circle. Now in this circle, we'll make six groups of two double crochets. This is the first double crochet, the second, and those groups will be separated by chain one. I'm including this end of thread in my work to make cleanup process easier. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one. Two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Six groups. Now we turn work over and we'll make a slip stitch in this first chain. And in this chain we'll make two double crochets chain two and uh, two double crochets we'll make a shell that we will use to start and to end every row of each wing now chain one in the next chain one we'll make a v stitch a double crochet chain one a double crochet chain one and a shell in the middle. Two double crochets, chain two. Two double crochets, chain one. Another V stitch here in the next chain one space. Chain one. And in the last shell, we'll make a shell as usual. Turn work over, a slip stitch, a shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. chain two and now in this v stitch we'll make a double crochet chain two and another double crochet so it's like the previous v stitch but chain two instead of chain one chain two and here in the middle shell we are going to make three groups of two double crochets two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two like we were doing in the skirt two double crochets chain two 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 two double
two double crochets. Chain two, another V stitch with chain two. Chain two and a shell to finish this row. And now on the other side, a slip stitch, a shell. Chain two and another kind of V stitch, but it has chain three in the middle between two double crochets chain two and here in the first chain two space will make a shell two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and another shell like this, chain two, a double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet in the same space, chain two, and the last shell. This is the base. Now we are going to start making the first wing. So a shell. Chain two. And in the middle, we'll start making a small pineapple, the kind we made um, at the skirt. So in this chain three space, we are making seven double crochets. Seven. Now chain two. They will always be chain two between the middle of the wing and the sides. And a shell. Two double crochets, chain two. Two double crochets. This is the beginning of the first wing. We'll use this side later. So turn back over slip stitch and the shell chain two and now we'll start making single crochets in each double crochet with chain three between them second single crochet chain three next single crochet chain three fourth single crochet chain three okay this will be fifth chain three and uh, two more chain three and the last seventh single crochet chain two between the pineapple and the shells and now continue working this um, wing 
making the pineapple the same way you made pineapples on the skirt and when you get almost to the end of the wing i will show how to continue so now i am almost at the end of the first wing i finished this pineapple design and made the first shell now i'm making chain two a single crochet in the last chain three of the pineapple chain two and a shell working on the other side i'll make a shell again and in this row we'll just have two shells nothing between them so this is the first one and i'll move on to the second one right away the second and on the other side we'll make after a slip stitch two double crochets in the first shell and two double crochets in the second and this will be the end of this wing now cut off the thread and make another wing beginning with this shell when you are done with the second wing do not cut off the thread we are going to use it to make a border well now i have finished both wings and we can start making a border we'll be making two rounds of the border and the first one will be single crochets separated by chain four so the first single crochet will be chain one as usual now chain four and we'll turn work over so that we could uh, work on this front side of the wings and we'll be making single crochets in the side of each double crochet so this is the first double crochet here I'll make a single crochet, chain four. This is the second one. I'll make a single crochet, chain four. Another single crochet here, chain four. A single crochet, chain four. And so on continue working around the wings when you get here make a single crochet in the side of this double then here in chain six and in the side of the next double crochet and do the same here after making after making a single crochet in this double crochet make one here in chain two and then one in the next uh, double crochet I have almost finished the first round of the border I've made everything except for the last chain four and instead of it I'm going to make chain one and a double crochet in the first chain here this will help us start the next round of the border in the correct place in the middle of this chain four space so the next and the last round of the border will be similar to what we did at the bottom of the skirt and the ends of the sleeves so we'll be making chain three instead of the first double crochet a second double crochet chain five for a pico a slip stitch in the third of those five chains 
and chain two two double crochets in the same chain four space now we'll move on to the next chain four and we'll do the same two double crochets chain five a slip stitch in the middle of this chain five chain two and uh, two double crochets and we'll be repeating this all the way around two double crochets chain five a pickle chain two two double crochets continue working like this on this side and on half of this side when you get here to the middle to the space between the wings I will show how to continue because we will need to pull this side together a little when you get to almost the middle point between the wings when there are two arches left until this point this is what we are going to do we are going to insert the hook in the first chain four space and we'll pull the thread to the front we'll do the same with the second one now we are getting to the middle and we'll do the same two more times and now we have five loops on the hook and uh, we'll work all of them together and this is how we kind of collected this middle um, of uh, the wings together and then in the next chain for space we'll just continue with the usual group of two double crochets a pico, a slip stitch, chain two, and uh, two more double crochets, and uh, finish the wings. Now, please. Now we can start making a halo. We'll start it with chain six, then we'll make two rounds of chains, chain three and chain four. And then for the last round, we'll make the usual groups of two double crochets, a pico and two double crochets. So let's make chain six. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. A slip stitch in the first chain. And now I will be making single crochets in this circle. I'll start with chain one instead of the first single crochet and then chain three. Now the second single crochet chain three the third chain three as usual i include this thread in my work i work it in chain three this will be number five chain three number six chain three seven single crochets chain three eight chain three nine and uh, chain three ten I have made 10 single crochets and nine little arches instead of the last one i will make 
chain one and a half double crochet in the first chain like this now in the next round we'll be making chain four we'll start with chain one instead of the first single crochet and the chain four and now we'll be making single crochets in those chain three chain four a single crochet chain four a single crochet chain four a single crochet and so on We are making nine chain four. The last one will be a little different as usual with this kind of design. So we have made nine groups of chain four. Now we are making chain one and a double crochet in the first chain. Now we are in the middle of this chain four and we can start making a usual group of two double crochets, chain five, chain four, chain five, a slip stitch, chain two, two double crochets. Then we'll move to the next chain four space and we'll do the same. Two double crochets, chain five, a slip stitch, chain two, and two double crochets. Continue working, make eight more groups like this and a slip stitch at the end in the third beginning chain and after that weave in and cut all the threads in everything that you have crocheted when the crocheting part is uh, done it's important to stiffen the angel and it can be done using different things like uh, white glue or commercial stiffener. Uh, but I prefer starch and uh, have a video on my channel uh, how to starch crochet things. Watch it if you want to. The way your angel is going to look like will depend a lot on what you are going to try it on. I now use those white plastic forms that you see on the left. My son makes them using a 3D printer. But before that, I used clay a lot and also whatever I could find of an appropriate shape in the kitchen, like bottles, or cups, bowls, vases, and so on. When you found something to dry the angel on, make boiled starch and soak the angel, everything except for the head, there for a few minutes. Then take it out, uh, wring it out well, and stretch it on the prepared shape. Uh, leave it to dry for about 24 hours. And as it is drying, from time to time continue stretching it to give it the desired shape. When everything is dry, iron the flat pieces through cotton cloth. When everything is dry, use a needle and thread or better a glue gun to connect all together uh, the halo, the wings, and I also put a drop of glue here to connect the parts of the skirt. This is it for today. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked the video and the angel that we made together, please push the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, but want to be informed of all the new projects, consider subscribing and pushing the notification button. See you next time. Bye-bye.